Hey guys, I'm, I'm Beverly and I wanted to come on today and share some items that I got from Goodwill and Hobby Lobby um, and most of it's farmhouse style so just let me get started. Um, I absolutely flipped when I saw this at Goodwill. <laughs> let me back up so you can kind of this is like, I don't know if it's a bird feeder or a squirrel feeder, but it's obviously something that you hang in a tree. But it's a windmill. And I just thought it was so, so cute. Um, let's see, I paid $2.99 for this. And I love it. And um, it needs to be cleaned up. I'm going to clean it up and I'm definitely going to hang it outside. Um, maybe in one of my flower beds or from a tree. But I just thought that was the coolest find. Okay. Um, the next thing that I found. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this thing. Um, and I almost missed it. I just happened to be walking down the aisle and I turned and looked and I was at like eye level with this little thing. But it is a very small oil burning lamp and it's real. I mean, it really has the wick in there, but it's so tiny. I could just imagine somebody walking around in there um, at night with this thing lit, walking through their little dark home. I just thought it was so cute. Let's see, I paid 89 cents for this. I can't wait to decorate with this. Um, then I found this, it's just a really small placemat. Um, I mean, you know, I think it's one of those, uh, what do you call them? The, like a hot plate or that you put a pot or a hot pot or something on. But I thought I would use it um, to add some texture to some of my decor to layer things. But I paid 99 cents for this. Um, and then I found this, it's just a small tablecloth. You know, that goes over a small table. But um, I found this and I just thought it was so pretty. I just wanna look at the detail on this thing. It's just so pretty and in the middle, it's got all this pretty detail. But I figured that um, I'm not necessarily gonna put it on a table, but I might let it hang out of a basket or out of a drawer, like in my pie safe or something like that. Let's see, um, let me see if I can find the price tag on it. Well, I don't see the price tag, but I think she only charged me like $1.99 for this, something like that. Okay, and then I found this. It's just like a little riser, bitcher block. Now, I'm not crazy about the fruit pattern, and my plan is to chalk paint this entire thing white, even this, just paint it white. And I thought I would use it as some type of riser to display decor on. And I did pay $4.99 for this, but it's really heavy duty. But uh, I want you to see the handles on it. It's just, I thought it was real nice. And I'll say from Goodwill. Now, this is right out of the 70s. I know, 60s maybe, I'm not really sure. I think maybe one of my aunts had a clock like this, but I love all this detail on it. And my plan is to totally chalk paint everything white except for the clock face. I am gonna put a battery in it and see if it really works. And if it works, I'm gonna actually use it as a clock, but it will be all white. If it doesn't work as a clock, then I'll go ahead and take these off and chalk paint this white as well and put something on this to display. I just, I thought it was really pretty. I'll turn it that way so you can kind of see the whole thing. <laughs> um, and then the last thing that I got from Goodwill was, let me make some of this stuff out of the way. <laughs> um, I know it's not Christmas time, but anytime I'm in Goodwill and I'll see something that I can use for Christmas, I'm pretty much gonna snag it up. And I have a thing for sleighs and I really wanna do a huge sleigh collection on top of an armoire that I have. But I found this huge sleigh. Now, I don't like all this stuff that's in it and I'll be taking all this stuff out. I'm probably not gonna paint it. I'm probably gonna leave it like it is because it is for Christmas. But I will take all of this flowery stuff out of it and just have the sleigh. 
Um, and I paid, I mean, it's really, it's got iron on it. It's heavy duty. I played, paid $4.99 for this. <laughs> okay, and now I want to share some of the things that I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I walked back to the clearance section that they usually have, like, in the corner of the store. And when I got back there, there were some pillow covers on the clearance. And the first one that I got was this faux fur pillow cover. I just thought it was really pretty. Um, I'm probably going to use it in a guest bedroom. Um, but I paid $3.74 for this. I thought it was real cute. And then I got two of these pillow covers from the same clearance section. Um, they had the pom-poms on them. I just thought they were real cute. And they were $4.99 each. And then while back there, um, they have these little rings that go on curtain rods. Um, I paid 74 cents for each of these, but I actually needed these because I'm putting a new little um, top curtain in my kitchen window and I wanted to use these clips to attach the curtain to. So that was really a steal. <laughs> and then I found these cute little rolling pins. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave them just like they are and I'm gonna use them to maybe stick out of some of my Ray Dunn or some of my um, pictures or just whatever. So they were cute. Okay, and then the next two items that I got from Hobby Lobby are kind of large. So I'm probably gonna have to flip the camera okay, around. The first one that I got was this spindled table. I just, I love it. Um, I'm either gonna use it as an end table or I'm gonna put it in front of a window and put some decor on it, but I just loved it. I just think it's so pretty. And I paid $64.99. Yes, my husband said, what? But I liked it, so I got it. And then the other small, the other thing that I got, it's just a bench that's going to, I have a vanity in my bathroom and I'm gonna use this as my bench for my vanity. Right now, I've just got an old chair there but I paid, I think it was like $48.99 for this bench. Now this last item I got at Goodwill and I was at, I w went to Goodwill the first time that morning and I saw it, was it the morning? I can't really remember. Anyway, I saw it, but I left it there and when I left, I went to Hobby Lobby, all I could think about was this item and so I had to go back and get it because I just um, got an idea for it. So it is this chair and I love it. It's got all the wood. I'm gonna kind of get close. Can you see all the ornamental wood that's on the top of it? Um, it is a really old chair, but to be old, I mean, goodness, it really doesn't have any stains or anything on it. I mean, I'm assuming it's old, I don't know. I only paid $29.99, $30 for this chair. I paid $30 for this chair. This is my plan. Um, I have never upholstered anything in my life, but I'm going to give it a go, um, and I'll probably do a video for that, so you're either going to watch it and laugh at me as I make a mess of this, or you're going to watch me and be like, oh, she really did it, and it looks good. So I'm, I'm going to give it a try um, with a staple gun and some fabric and um, watching some YouTube videos. I want to cover it with something that's kind of farmhouse style. Um, but I just, I loved it, and I couldn't believe it was only $30. So anyway, that's my haul that I wanted to share today, and um, if you haven't subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel, and um, just join me anytime I put a video out, and y'all have a great day. Abigail. Abigail. Tell them bye. Tell them bye, Abigail. Tell them bye.